this thing's hot, right? It's Scale, and I'm from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm going to do a crew review of the Alex PID. Bear with me here now. We're going to go through this machine from top to bottom. What makes it the PID? <laughs> the PID, right here. This is a control device that uh, allows you to change the temperature of the boiler, and this is a heat exchanger boiler. And it will man maintain that temperature to within one degree of whatever you ask it. Why do you want a PID? Certain coffees like different temperatures. Like some coffees might like 195, some might like, you know, 205, and that's the range, 194, 195 to 204. That's where you want to stay within. Why is this at 250? Because this is a heat exchanger. And a heat exchanger machine, you're going to have the actual uh, inside of the boiler at a temperature that is suited for steam, which is much higher. The water comes from the boiler or from the water tank, goes to the boiler, goes through a tube inside the boiler, and it leads up to the E61 saturated brew head. And by the time it gets there, it is that 195 to 204. This is how you change the temperature. I played around with this and indeed, the temperature was just a little bit low, so my shots were coming out sour and I couldn't figure it out because I had a nice 30 second shot, but I changed the temperature, Mwah! made all the difference in the world. Nice stainless steel ca uh, casing from Izzo, double wall on the side, back, and the other side. It also, like I said, has a heater exchanger, and we're going to lift the lid and show you what's under the hood. It's got two manometers. One is telling you that the boiler is up to temperature, and then the other one is going to tell you what's going on as you're brewing. If that needle jumps up to about 10 and back to about 9, 9.5, that tells you the grind of the coffee is correct. If it isn't, it will, uh, if it jumps up too high and it stays there, it's too fine, it's restricting the flow. And if it's too coarse, it'll come out and go down to about eight and a half, nine, you know, too low, that's too coarse. Stainless steel uh, drip tray as well with magnets on it right here and here inside. Uh, let me take the grate out and I'll show you. Right there. And they correspond with this right here. So when you put this in, you're going to feel a little grab, and that keeps it from rattling. The grate right here, nice size drip tray as well. Good size on this. And while I've got the uh, drip tray out, this is how you change this machine, and this is what makes this one a little bit different than some of the other ISO models. This one changes from plumb or to tank. The tank is back here, and I'll show you that. Or you can have a direct plumb from your house. Also, note right down here, stainless steel chassis. That's really a nice feature because down over the years that you own these machines, the steel ones are going to be powder coated. And occasionally, I'm not saying that they're going to for sure, but they, they tend to um, fail at the weld spots and stuff like that, and you'll get a bit, little bit of rusting. So you won't get that with this machine. Let's get this back, back together here. Your uh, water dispenser right here. And your anti-burn steam arm right here with a four-hole tip on it. And by the way, let's swing over to what comes with this because it does come with a box of extra tips. And this box is kind of falling apart, so bear with me here. There we go. Comes with four extra tips right there in the box so that you can change them out. And it won't just be the number of holes, it'll be the size of the holes. It'll make a difference. Put the one on that you think is going to work best for you. Try it out and see if it does. It comes with a nice tamper, not bad, back flush basket, the blind basket, a single and a double on the uh, portafilter. So you have your choice there. A ni nice micro soft rag to wipe the machine down, your manual, and a brew head brush which we have some better ones on our website if you want to change this out and in the best. Water line and drain hose with a clamp that just went to the floor for your direct plumb. So everything to get you going. Uh, the valves are nice right here for the steam and the hot water. This is a lever machine and when you engage this you're going to get water all over the countertop as I just did, 
And what it does is it, it allows the pump to kick in to dispense water to the brew head for you. So that's, uh, that's how that works. And as I mentioned earlier, this is an E61 saturated brew head. What does that mean? The hot water from the boiler on the inside circulates through this all the time, siphoning like hot water rises, cold water drops. So it siphons through keeping the brew head at a consistent temperature, hence your portafilter will also be at a consistent temperature. What does that mean to you? Better shots. The more consistent the temperature, the better the shots. I'm glad this uh, micro rag is sitting here. There. You never knew I made a mistake, did you? All right, so what I'm going to do is move around the back of the machine. We're going to lift the lid, and I'm going to show you the, uh, the workings under the hood. So follow me. So let's take the top off, the grate that holds the uh, rails for your cup holders. And then under there, I've already taken the screws out so that we can lift this out. Ah, 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 it's warm. And look under the hood. First off, this is not really under the hood. You can access this anytime. Here's your water tank right here. And this is a 77 ounce tube fed, as it's dribbling all over the place here, water tank. And this machine will have an audible beep when it runs out of water. And this is your magnet right here. When this is not floating, you'll get an audible beep. This just slips right back in here. Actually, this comes out quite nice, easily removable. All right, under the rest of the hood, uh, some of the electronics are way up high here, which is kind of nice. This is the back of the PID. Uh, and some of the other stuff is way up high here, which keeps it out of uh, waterway in case you have a leak down below. This is your boiler right here that has a thermal wrap on it. And it is, as you can see right here, it's a stainless steel boiler. That's quite nice. Copper tubing to feed everything. This is feeding your hot water. This is feeding your steam. Uh, so that's uh, under the hood of the machine. It's, uh, I would say, quite nicely built, very uh, put together well in a package. Here's your double wall, and you can see that there are holes to let a certain amount of uh, temperature out, but not enough that you can really feel it on the outside. It's not like most machines. Most machines are pretty hot on the outside, and this is due to the double wall. That's how they manage that. All right, I'm going to put this back together, and then we are going to make a drink. So, again, bear with me. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm ready to go if you guys are. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. So we got, uh, we took out the uh, Nuova Seminelli G60 grinder, and that's the one we're using today, and we're using the Fast Forward by Counter Culture. This grinder has that pause feature where you can pause it to shake it down. and then resume your grind and also you can change the dosing plus or minus on a double or a single right there i didn't mention but see how that handle is uh it's curved down you can put this right down on your tamping mat tamp it and it is nearly level which is kind of nice Don't forget, this is a heat exchanger machine. And as I was talking to you before about how the water comes through the hot water and feeds the brew head, it's gonna be overheated if it sits there for over about five minutes. So you wanna do a, a flush. And see how hot that is? And you'll see it diminish. It even changes you know, the velocity of it and the volume. So that's ready to go. And I'm gonna step over here and also what you want to do is uh, you want to purge the steam arm for any condensation. And you'll notice on the PID that this is going to count up as we are uh, doing our brew and that's counting the shot for you.
right, that's done. And that's at 22 seconds. I want about a 30 second shot on this particular one. Don't forget to clean this when you're done. There we go. So the nice part is it did the counting for me. I didn't have to even think about it. Excuse my back again. I might have a little too much foam for art. That's my excuse today. In fact, I'm sure of it. Not bad, I got a little bit, a little bit of a leaf. Yes, cheers. I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Nice and creamy, full-bodied coffee, not bad. Of course, that it all depends on the coffee you're using and the milk as well. But if you have everything dialed in properly, you should get a good drink. And then when you're done, a comparatively dry coffee puck because of that three-way solenoid valve knocks right out. You're good to go. So that is the Alex PID. Check it out for the rest of the stats on, on the website. These machines are a little bigger than some, maybe a little bit taller than some, so make sure it's gonna fit in your kitchen. And of course, as always, let us know if you have any questions and comments down below. And thanks a lot for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't have a job. Thanks a lot. Cheers.